What's going on guys, Shivon here back with another video. Today we have another Desk Setup Upgrades Episode 3. My previous episodes were well received, so you know we have to continue the series. But today guys, we have some interesting upgrades. So we have actually, I would say technically three upgrades, but it's two different products. So we have the BenQ Mobius EX3415R. It's a newly released monitor. I'm not sure if it's that retailing yet, but this monitor is insane. It's curved, it's an ultra wide. Q, WQHD at 144 Hz refresh rate with built-in speakers. That monitor is a beast. And also, secondly, we have something from Elgato and it's two of their key lights. So you guys know I love streaming. So whenever I'm streaming, the light that I have to use, it's like a rechargeable LED light. It's not bright enough. It doesn't get the job done, but I'm 100% sure these Elgato key lights will do the trick. Everything is like flowing right now. So if you guys are excited, don't forget to subscribe, drop a like for that YouTube algorithm. And without any further ado, let's get started. Let's go. All right. So I'm not going to sit here and act like my setup right now doesn't look absolutely amazing. Good PC, good monitor, which I checked out on the previous episode. This monitor over here, the vertical one is a BenQ PD3420Q. It's a very good monitor for video editing. The colors are amazing. And we have the camera off to the side. All of these upgrades were done in my previous episode. But, you know, we have to make a couple upgrades. So we need better lighting because this lighting on stream when the lights are off is terrible. And whenever I have my studio lights on, it gets really hot in here. So what I'm thinking is we're going to have a dual monitor setup. So I'm going to take down this monitor, take down that one and have a dual monitor set up and try to put the Elgato key lights on either side of the setup. So yeah, that's the plan for today. Let's get started. So this is the monitor guys first thing first it's way lighter than i expected but look at that curvature though this is what i was missing when i had the flat ultra wide it was super hard to just keep looking over all the way now this is gonna curve it's more immersive oh i like it good job benq so for the monitor this is everything we get we get the base stand here then we get the stand itself so it could adjust up and down and it also comes with a vase amount so if we don't want to use the stand we could use our vase amount bunch of cables display port usb cables all that stuff we also got a power cable brick so yeah it, it needs those frames so we have to use that brick then also the power cable to put into the the brick itself and also a nice little cable management tray so we could close this up when we're finished Last but not least, we have the remote. Very nice, I like it. Everything is looking good so far, guys. We have a multi-mount that came included inside the box so it could attach our key lights to. We also have the power brick with a universal adapter on the tip right here. So any country you're in, we got you. Elgato got you covered. And here is the key light itself. First impression, if it's heavy, not like super heavy, but for it to be this thin, it's really premium. You know, it has a premium feel. And also on the back, we have some nice designs here. Wi-Fi enabled, can't wait to just put it up to see the results. All right, so now that we have everything unboxed, the last step is to put everything together and hopefully it looks good. <sighs> Let's go. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Sorry for stopping the fancy B-roll, but I was about to use the base stand. I mean, look at the details on this thing. It looks amazing. It has levels. You could, you know, move the monitor down, you know, move it up. You could swivel it, all of that, but you can't rotate it like full 90 degrees. So you could get that vertical uh, monitor set up. So I guess we just have to ditch the monitor stand and I have to put it on this thing right here, which is the vase amount. So yeah, I'm sorry monitor stand, but you gotta go.
Okay, we're finally finished, guys. And please let me know down below in the comments what should I have done different because I'm loving this right now. Like McDonald's, I'm loving this. Like this monitor over here curves right in to the 240 hertz and the lights, everything is perfect. Now I don't need to use those cheap lights anymore or blast lights in my room. This is perfectly fine. And also you can control the lights with your phone. So if you look right here, guys, this is the Elgato Control Center app. And as you can see, boom, it turns off the light in the back. I could control the brightness as well. So I could turn up the brightness turn it down and also control the color temperature that's next level right there and as i said before you could use the elgato cam link so i have my light set up right here so that turns it off turns it on this increased the brightness that decreased the brightness and as you can see you can see me perfectly so this is with the key light without the key light it's a major difference guys boom with key lights without the key lights and I'm going to show you what the light looked like that I used to use before. So this is the little light I used to use before and it was so annoying because it's battery powered so I'd have to like charge it whenever it dies. So I usually have this right here and whenever this is on, boom, this is how it would look like on stream as you guys can see. So it's, it's, it's doing something but it's not doing a lot. Let me turn it off. That's with it off and I still have this key light over here. So imagine if that key light wasn't on, but let's go ahead and turn on the main key light right now. And you can see the difference. Boom, major difference. You can see everything. I love this man. And as I said before, it's not blinding. I don't have to squint my eyes. I can see perfectly fine. So yeah, that's a huge game changer. Okay, so right now I'm gonna show you guys how to quickly add a key light. The key light to my right over there is not yet connected. So all you guys have to do is just go to your Wi-Fi settings. So it's supposed to pop up. Boom, Elgato key light. Make sure you connect to it. Then you want to go to the control center. So you want to download the Elgato control center app. And this is what it would look like down here. Then you want to hit add accessory and it will search for it. So let's give it some time to search. All right, so if it says no accessories found, all you guys have to do is just reset the key light. In order to reset the key light, all you have to do is press this button. And it will reset. And then it's turning down again. It should be good to go. All right, so I just reset the key light. And as you can see, it popped up as a new accessory. And you could also do this on your mobile phone as well. On your iPhone, you want to make sure you download the Elgato Control Center app. It would look something like this. And then you want to jump over to your settings. Then go to Wi-Fi, boom. You're supposed to see the light come up. Other devices, Elgato key light. Then you just hit that. You'd enter your password, do the, the setups and everything. But I don't want to do it on this. I want to set it up on my PC. So let's continue setting it up on the PC. All right, so once you're here, you just hit connect, enter your Wi-Fi password. Boom, connect. All right, it's done, finish. So yeah, over here now we have full control. We could turn them all off just like that. Turn them both on, or you could individually turn one off and turn the other off. So yeah, boom, sick, sick, sick. All right, quick tip for you guys. If you have a stream deck, you can actually control it. I think I mentioned that earlier. So I'm gonna show you guys how you could quickly do it. So you want to go to um under the categories on the right side, make sure you're on control center. Then you could just drag the on and off button over here and you could control them individually or all. Since I have two, I rather to control all. So now if I press this, it turns off both the key lights. Press that button, it turns them on again. Pretty sick. You could also set the temperatures or use a color if you have like a LED light strip. But for me, I'm just gonna adjust brightness. So you could adjust the brightness of them individually and you could do it by up 5% or up 10%. I'm just gonna do by up 10%. So every time I press this button, the brightness would adjust um, 10%. Then I have adjust brightness again and make that down 10%. All right here, so negative 10, boom. So if I press this button, you could see the light turns off fully. Adjust the brightness slowly, boom, as simple as that.
Elgato just makes the best streaming products ever, bro. All right, one thing I haven't tried was the speakers on the monitor, though. So let's go ahead and hear that for the first time. Okay. Alright guys, so that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Let me know what you think about this Death Setup Upgrades episode. I think it was really fun. Two of the items that I really needed, the key lights and a brand new monitor running at 144Hz with a curved screen and it also has amazing speakers built into it. I'm definitely looking forward to do a full review on this monitor and probably use it for my main monitor for two weeks. So if you want to see that, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm down below and make sure you subscribe if you're not. Road to 100k. As always, love, peace and tweaks. Signing out.